It is a love-hate story with the Walking Dead finale. Brightside, we get new spin-offs, promising fans that they do not yet have to say goodbye to all of their beloved characters. Darkside, fans are left with many more questions than answers regarding the fates of their favorite characters. But don't worry, the saviors are here. What happened to Rick? Will there ever be a cure? Stay tuned with us as we try to find the answers to these questions, and much more. Firstly, what exactly is going to happen to the kids? All die hard Walker fans would know that Carl Grimes had a significant part as his father Rick's right hand man from virtually the beginning until his demise in the 8th season. No lie, it was one of the most tragic deaths of the show, but well, the Walking Dead fans are just immune to losing characters. As we know, Carl was always able to get Rick back on track when he was about to cross the line and give in to his darker instincts by reminding him that his own beliefs ought to keep him from doing so. Carl was the moral compass Rick never had. In this sense, the morality of the franchise has always placed a significant emphasis on the future generation, and this trend is fully continued by The Walking Dead World Beyond. Have you guys watched it yet? If not, then remember to go in with low expectations, folks. We don't want to miss out on the chance of saying, we told you so. Now, over the course of the final three seasons, Rick's daughter with Lori and Michonne's adopted kid, Judith, emerges as as a significant figure because Rick, Michonne, Carl are all dead. And well, RJ is still too young to assume a big role, inspiring the people around her to retain their focus on the goal amid disagreements. Judith demonstrates the same tenacity and bravery as her parents. Not surprisingly, she is able to not only protect and calm the other kids, but also take part in important events. Judith lives despite nearly passing away in the conclusion from a gunshot wound, leaving us to speculate about her future. The best bet is that they all take a significant role in the franchise because AJ Socorro, Rosita's kid, and a few others are becoming older. However, is it the end of Pamela? Are we going to see more of her? So, epic big bads are just a routine thing for The Walking Dead. Remember the governor, Negan, the whisperers? Well, Pamela Milton, who we never physically witness commit murder, but everyone is aware that she has disappeared innumerable Commonwealth people. Anyone who poses a problem for her is the main antagonist for the 11th season, while on the other hand, Sebastian, her ungrateful and spoiled son, and Lance Hornsby, a politician who often fabricated evidence to get support only to withdraw it at important junctures, are helping her colonize the outlying settlements as part of some type of manifest destiny scheme that we may never fully understand. While Pamela was apprehended after her terrible deeds caused many of the Commonwealth's most disadvantaged residents to perish in the zombie invasion, Sebastian Sebastian and Lance both met satisfactory ends in the 11th season. Did you know that the death of Rick Grimes by Sebastian is apparently what brought the comic series to an end? And this made him a far more significant antagonist. Sebastian, however, plays a far less role in AMC's adaptation than Pamela, who becomes a supervillain due to her callous disregard for the people she serves. She is not slain, unlike the cartoon version of Sebastian, and is instead sentenced to life in jail. However, this this leaves a lot of room for this articulate beast to make a significant comeback. Will we see her in any of the spin-offs? We might. Now, before you go anywhere, stay with us as we try to resolve the biggest mystery of The Walking Dead. But first, how did Maggie and Negan land in New York City? Yup, the finale devotes a lot of time to exploring the hostility between Maggie Green, a longtime fan favorite, and Negan, the villain turned anti-hero who killed her buddy Abraham and husband Glenn all the while serving as the merciless leader of the Saviors. Despite Negan's presence as a helpful member of the Alexandria community, after going through a crisis of faith while spending several years in jail, Maggie is understandably still outraged over this. Even if his intended goal finally failed, Negan never displays regret for his crimes, making the situation worse. He always sees his deeds as a means to an end. But in the 11th season's final block, everything changes. Negan, who is now now married and about to become a parent, is tormented by remorse over what he did and makes an effort to give himself to a firing squad in order to spare the others. However, the neighborhood rallies behind him and Annie to save him. Then the unimaginable happens. For the first time, he sits down and expresses his regret to Maggie, explaining that it took the horrors they had to throw for him to truly comprehend what he had taken from her. She says she's prepared to go forward even if she tells him she can't forgive 
give him, which will pave the way for their next spinoff, Dead City. But the question remains, how did they end up in NYC? Now, another mystery. Where is Daryl going? It is true that Daryl seamlessly transitions into a key role once Rick and Michonne leave the series, spending more time with the neighborhood, helping to raise Judith, and even working for Mercer as one of the Commonwealth troops. And he has always been a real friend to Rick and Michonne during their time as leaders because he is loyal to a fault and ready to go into danger at a moment's notice. Fans would agree that his commitment to the community has been evident since the early days. We saw that in the conclusion, Daryl spends the most of his time trying to protect and save Judith as the horde overtakes the Commonwealth streets. When Judith first wakes up, she is in a delusional state and tells Daryl that Michonne is looking for Rick, one of the most intriguing scenes of the series. Just as Daryl is taken aback like a boy on a roller coaster, he doesn't act right away until the series concluding one year later scene. These time jumps make us crazy. So Daryl bids Carol a heartfelt farewell as he gets ready to embark on his own adventure after demonstrating that he's been up to his old tricks and patrolling the woods to stay on top of any dangers to the town. Mystery remains, where is he headed? We believe, even though we can't be certain wherever he is headed, Rick and Michonne are waiting for him at the end of his path. Are we living in an optimistic bubble? Please let us know. So fans are wondering, will communities really connect? The real question is not if the communities will connect, but how the communities will connect. Remember when Rick's crew, scraggly and in need of assistance, moved from village to community in the early seasons of The Walking Dead in an effort to achieve stability and protection? Well, his band of nomads has been through the Green Family Farm, the prison, the false promises of Terminus, and many other places, all because no place felt like home. But they eventually find it with Alexandria. But getting there wasn't without its own challenges. And we all know those early power struggles would have easily sent the gang running back to Mama. Beyond that, Alexandria has struggled for a relative calm, but Negan and his saviors have disrupted and very nearly destroyed it at every step. Even in the 11th season, the village continues to exist and is still standing, albeit we are unsure of its exact condition. Sadly, Hilltop is destroyed during the Whisperer War, and we know that Commonwealth troops assaulted Alexandria and Oceanside. Nevertheless, the Commonwealth's change in power makes it more difficult than ever to comprehend the state of the outlying settlements. Fans agree that King Ezekiel, who is kind, is unlikely to ever abandon the other villages, especially those where he previously felt at home. Because of his special dedication to Alexandria, Aaron may very likely return there as a leader and usher in a new age. But we're eager to learn Oceanside's exact situation and whether it will make a comeback in the near future. Really, it's all about Rick. So where is he? In the ninth season of The Walking Dead, Rick bids fans a fond farewell. While riding a dependable steed and experiencing hallucinations, he successfully steers a horde of the undead away from his friends and family. As a large number of the walkers are destroyed by an explosion, it appears that Rick has died because he is nowhere to be seen. But remember Jadis, the scavenger's commander who we first encounter in the seventh season and who proves to be a mysterious and perplexing person during her time with the gang? She makes subtle comments in The Walking Dead World Beyond that may easily demonstrate that she knows where Rick is. It turns out that Jadis uses a chopper to rescue Rick. We presume he was transferred to a hospital, but at this point, Rick is no longer in our sight. The television show suddenly jumps forward six years. Again, these crazy time jumps. Anyways, we see Michonne is writing letters to her presumably deceased husband in her diary. But in a twist of fate, Michonne discovers Rick's boots and an outdated iPhone with her and Judith's faces engraved on its surface in the 10th season, which prompts her to set out in search of him. In the conclusion, it appears more probable than ever that we'll discover what Rick has been up to in the end. But for now, it's still a mystery. Rick drags his feet across the sand while wearing a leather jacket decorated with Boromian rings until an unexpected chopper approaches and picks him up once more. Rick, however, chooses to smile at the menacing helicopter rather than fleeing from it, leaving fans with many unanswered questions as they wait for the upcoming Rick and Michonne spinoff on AMC. A series so long has left many loose ends untied. Intentional or unintentional, unanswered questions about The Walking Dead have made the fans go into a frenzy. Will you watch the spinoffs to cure your curiosity? Or let your imagination run wild to find answers? Let us know in the comments below if we missed any of the other unanswered questions. And don't
don't forget to like and subscribe for more. See you next time.